Hi, welcome to my kitchen diner. And I'm just gonna show you this wall behind me here, which is more our dining room area. And I'm gonna focus on the wall paneling that I've done here. So I'm just gonna run through some really easy, simple DIY steps on how you can give this a go at home. So the first thing you need to think about is what type of wall that you have in your home because it will affect what type of fixings you need for your wall panelling. So generally there's two types of wall, you've got your stud wall and your brick or stone wall. So depending on what room you're in, find out what wall you have and then we can get the right materials together. If you have a stone brick wall then we're going to use nails to secure the wood to the wall. However if you have a stud wall you're better off using adhesive. This wall was nearly plastered as it was part of our new extension. So because the wall is in really good condition and it's nice and straight, we have attached the wood directly onto the wall. So this is actually plastered wall here, it's not wood. Another option if your walls aren't in such good condition is you'll need to attach whole sheets of MDF possibly um, to the wall, which will then give you the nice flat straight finish. So the wood that we've used here is kiln dried pine wood and what's great about that is there should be minimal shrinkage. So just to go through the size of the wood that I've used here because I get asked lots of questions about the size of the wood and the gaps that we've used. So this pine wood is 95 millimetres wide and the depth of it is 18 millimetres and the gap that we left here is 380 millimetres. So what I'm going to run through next is how we've achieved this finish at the top of the panelling, uh, which has also got a little shelf. I get asked a lot of questions about how I achieve the shelf on the top of my panelling. So this is what you need. This piece of wood should already be attached onto the wall, the same thickness as all the other wood that you've got. So this is our called architrave. You'll find this around your door frames normally and when you go to the shops you'll see that there's different patterns and different cuts that you can buy. So that's completely up to you what sort of finish you want along the top of your wall panelling. This piece of wood you'll attach directly onto this here. So this is the depth of the wood that you've already got onto the wall. You'll then attach the architrave along the top like this and as you can see there's already quite a nice depth for a shelf already. Um, each piece of wood is roughly about 18 millimetres in depth so it's just under 40 millimetres. That may well be enough for you, you may well like this finish, however if you want your shelf a little bit deeper which is what I wanted so that I could put some pictures and some small little vases and bits on. Then again, I use the same thickness wood, 18 millimetres. You cut this to size. So this is already on the wall. And then this will sit on the top and you decide what sort of overhang you want. So my overhang is roughly about there. So you just cut that back piece off. And then as you can see, this is the finished. This is how it will look when it's finished. then on how to actually get the wood onto the wall. You've, decided, you've worked out what wall you've got, you've decided whether you can directly attach it to nice sort of finished plastered walls or whether you need to attach the sheet. So once you've got all the walls prepared, whether it be that you've added a sheet of wood or like I said, your plaster's in good condition, then what you're going to do is you're going to get your pieces of wood and these come in various lengths but cut it to size and then this is the piece that goes along the top. So you'll be running the ship bits along that. Do the same but along the bottom and then you're going to have the pieces that attach downwards, obviously cut to the correct size. You are going to have areas where you need to attach the pieces of wood. So for example here we've had to attach two pieces together uh, and I'll run through what you do with all the gaps that you get, all your nail. Um, holes 
later on in the tutorial. So when you've attached these pieces of wood to the wall, you will need to attach another piece of wood exactly the same size as this behind here, the same thickness, because like I showed you in an earlier clip, you need to attach the architrave onto another piece of this. So this doesn't finish here. You'll then add another piece behind, add the architrave, and then your little shelf on top. And we're gonna do the same thing down here for the skirting. So beneath this wall panelling here that you can see, again, is another piece of wood exactly the same depth, all flush behind the skirting. That then gives you something secure to attach the skirting to, and it will allow it to sit proud so that you get that lip along the top. Whether you've used adhesive to attach the wood or nails, you're always going to have little gaps where you've attached the wood together or obviously the little nail holes. So what you need to get is some wood filler. Fill all those holes in, fill all these holes and gaps in here, allow it to dry, sand it down. You may find that it needs a second fill as well. You'll also need some decorator's chalk which you need to put into a mastic gun. And then what you can do is you run the chalk along these gaps here that you'll have between the wall and the wood. Just smooth that down. I normally just run my finger along. It helps to poke it into the gaps, makes everything nice and smooth. So you'll need to do that around all these gaps that you have here. Once you're happy with all your filling and your sanding and everything looks smooth and perfected, then you need to go through any knots that you might have. You can get some sealant for knots to stop any stainage coming through the paint. And then you need to prime your wood and then get an eggshell or a satin, depending on what brand of paint that you use, they give it different names. I used um, eggshell here, interior eggshell. Eggshell tends to have um, various levels of sheen, but again, it depends what brand paint that you use. So we primed this, and then you'll probably find that you'll need to give it at least two coats of paint in order to get a really good finish. As I mentioned earlier, this is actually a plastered wall here. So even though it's a plastered wall, still use the eggshell, satin wood, whatever it is that you have, on this part as well as this part so that the sheen throughout is exactly the same. Just bear in mind that sometimes the wood will shrink a little bit, the filler dries out a little bit more. So we did this panelling a few months ago and as you can see there are areas where things have shrunk slightly. So do keep some spare filler lying around and a little bit of sandpaper um, and then what you can do it's really easy just quickly go over it it fills them in really really quick because it's all been done before give it a quick sand and then just go over it again with your paint I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial I've tried to keep it to the point but please do drop me any comments, any messages if you need me to clarify anything.